Hey folks, welcome to RT-Import, Royal Tiger Imports. I'm Uli, this is Shaw, and this is Boba. So, um, Boba joined our team about half a year ago, and Boba came from Ukraine. And, um, you know, we hired Boba, he does a really good job in social media. He does all our social media accounts, and uh, all the creative work you see is basically um, Boba's job. So, um, Boba, why don't you say hi? Uh, hello, my name is Boba. I'm from Ukraine. Uh, I like uh, work uh, our team. Boba learned all this English already only in, in six months. And of course, you know, another six months, he will be pretty, very good at it. So anyways, and you, and you know Shaw. So basically to break it up a little bit, you folks always asked us, um, you know, we want to see your guns in action. You have always nice, very videos, but you know what? You don't show how you shoot. And um, we kind of went out, not me, I was gone for four weeks, so I'll tell you about that later on. But nevertheless, you know, Bova and and, um, and Shaw and some other team members, they took the guns to the range. They did a lot of footage of the guns, so you will see later on several videos um, showing all these and uh, featuring the different guns. And by the way, these are already on the table, the exact guns, what they, what they shot. And uh, you can see the accuracy, the function, and so on and so forth. But um, let me tell you a little bit about, about my, my, my absence here. I was gone for two weeks in Africa. Of course, we prepared some more containers and some more goodies with all kind of different antiques, CNR firearms, parts kits. Uh, I just only say MG34 parts kits, AA52 parts kits, MG42, MG3, and M53 parts kits, and uh, Beretta 1718, Villa Perosa, and so on and so forth. Anyhow, so there's a bunch of cool stuff coming, guys, and, and um, we will have, hopefully have it here um, early summer, uh, June, hopefully it will be, everything will be here. But nevertheless, um, Shaw, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you guys did at the range? Sure. Well, while Uli was gone overseas, uh, we went out and shot some stuff at the range. It's been a while since we've actually done a company range day and gotten some videos. It's been years, in fact. So it was a great opportunity to show off some of the stuff we have. Uh, as Uli mentioned, pretty much everything here uh, we shot, including probably about a dozen more at least additional firearms. We'll be posting all that range footage throughout the next few weeks and months. And uh, it was a great time. I mean, all these guns work fantastic uh, for the most part. You've got these, you know, basically all of them are in great shape that we brought up to the range and we made sure they were all, you know, functional beforehand and they just shot wonderfully. Uh, so we plan to go out to the range in the uh, you know, coming weeks again sometime soon, but keep an eye posted on the social media and uh, other platforms and we will publish all this information on how the guns did. Awesome, awesome. Well, guys, um, so stay tuned. Um, we will have, or, you know, after this short intro, we will have the uh, range day footage and probably, like Shaw said, we'll break it up in a few videos. And of course, I will go to, uh, show you the videos of the African warehouses, containers being loaded and so on and so forth. So stand by. Thanks for watching. And if you have friends who are interested in this stuff, tell them about our channel. And if you like what, uh, what you see, please give us a thumbs up. That helps us with the algorithm in YouTube. Appreciate, we appreciate your business. God bless and God bless America. Boy, you can't just battle me. load up the magazine of the VZ257. This one is chambered in 762 by 39. This is the updated version from the 762 by 49. And today we're shooting some of the Romanian steel cased and lead core ammunition. Brand new production ammo, so it should work great. So you buy the I, 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 I buy it to work all the time. Yep. So I get the can, I chop off some celeries. All right, now we're going to go ahead and shoot the M48. Today we're shooting some of the East German surplus that we imported a while back. Let's give it a shot. What you got? Just need to make sure.
sure that they're empty. Yes, sir. That's good. Okay. All right, now we're going to shoot the K11. This is chambered 75 Swiss. We're going to shoot some original surplus GP11 ammo. Just make sure the follower and spring are in place. And then we're good to go. That's all matching. That's a normal actually matching. Let's have Mark Lumber. It's a thousand contracts. That's awesome. All right. I've yet to explain how to do anything to it except for. So today, let's load up some 30 carbine. This is some of our surplus out of the 120 round bandoliers. We'll see how it runs. And this is out of our restored carbine. This particular one is a Winchester. All right, we've got a number one Mark III. This particular one is a Lithgow. It's an Australian manufactured one. We're shooting brand new production, Graf's ammo, 174, hotel hollow point. Let's see how it runs. Whether our stuff is in stock or not in stock. Right, we've got World War 
four two one one grand. So now we've got a Brno Model 1. This is a 22 long rifle trainer. This is the first of many 22 trainers that were made by the Czechs. So let's see how it shoots. All right, now we're going to test out our reproduction K98 sniper. All right, let's go ahead and shoot the Moz 4956. It's chambered in 7.5 French. We're shooting brand new PPU ammo. Got five rounds loaded up. Let's see how it goes. Ethiopian contract Mauser. Let's see how it runs. Zero. Is like zero. 